Howdy, howdy, this is Claire Lawrence. So many of you guys are already in. I'm all excited. Cool. Hey, Erica, I'm glad you got to join me. Janice is already in. Susan, hey. Uh, Susan, watch out calling her Miss Thornton. She's just going to beam on you. <laughs> with our barks I'm sorry I love your little title there that's awesome hey Evelyn okay so as a quickie reminder you gonna do the overhead okay cool this is a lay down for the art Wednesday I started off hopefully I can stay within the 40 minutes that's gonna be the tester for me <laughs> and then next at five o'clock is Janice with just Janice uh, 5.30, uh, Julie will have something, and you can find her by Art by Julie. And, of course, Erica with Art Still Death at 6 o'clock. And then followed by uh, Tish with The Artist Haven. I don't know if I'm going to be on there. We're going to have to see. It depends on how this runs and how much of a mad dash I have to do. So, that's the lineup for the night. Hopefully, you guys can come join us in. And this is how this piece turned out hopefully you guys can see it I did a last minute thing I added some gold here and a little bit of the um, oh shoot plum plum blue color and I did kind of a swipe across that I wanted a little bit more gold in there but I'm happy with the way it ended up curing up so yeah couldn't help myself. I had to do resin piece. So this piece, I'm going to try and talk you guys through this. This is something that I took this down to Rhonda's way back when. And I had a theory of whether or not I could do this on a board. And this is a Lazy Susan. These are those kind that you can get from Ikea. And I've already kind of pre-painted the back. And I've taped up the bottom so it's sticking to my little round. Well, it was sticking to my round thing. Okay, so let's try that again. Chaos, always the chaos. But what I did, and if you guys are interested, I can do the full steps on this on Tuesday's live. But what I had done is I took the Ikea board and I put down a very, very, very thin layer of resin on there. I mean, just where you're just pushing it across uh, the board. And then I sprinkled a bunch of white glitter on there and then took a piece of parchment paper, laid it down on top and I just burnished it all down. So I have chunky bits of, of glitter and it helps them lay down flat. So I'm not sure where I'm <laughs> Mikey's switching cameras on me, so I didn't know where to look here. <laughs> but the uh, parchment paper helps those big glitters from going, going up and having them lay down. And then when it's done, you just kind of rough it up and get rid of the loose particles that way. However, there's some little odd bits that will show up on the sides that will point in different directions. And I just went a couple hours ago and put a super thin layer of amazing quick coat on the sides and of course I should have done it a little bit sooner it's still a little bit on the tacky side you poured your first resin skull I'm so proud of you Julie that's awesome
Okay. So then what I did here is on the edges, it showed a lot of the wood. So I went and I took a little pouncer here and you can get these little pads. Sometimes they come in round or sometimes rectangle. And I just loaded up with different alcohol inks and I just kind of hit the edges. Let's see if I can pick this up without the whole thing falling apart again. Yep, oh, there it goes. Okay. So I just did the edges and just rotated around from blues and golds and and then did it in the right along the edge and kind of blended it in so that way the edges were nice and clean. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to do a clear coat of resin and we're going to do just a little bit of accents with a gold and a silver and then I've got uh, interference blue that I'm going to run some thin lines. and then some uh, chameleon colors. And so this is the one that's a foil kind of chameleon, so it's a bigger flake, and then I've got grumpy. So I'm gonna put these both in one cup. Alrighty. So are you guys interested in me doing the entire project Monday? Cause I can lay it out in steps so y'all can see the whole project. Let me know in the comments below and I'll check that out at the end of the live to see if I should do that. So let's get mixing up some resin, I think. We're going to use our coat resin, my go-to, and hopefully not make a huge mess. Well, we'll probably make a huge mess because that's what I do. Let's see. I think about four ounces. I would have had this mixed up, but at the last minute I decided to put a default thumbnail together. And of course I had to get extra with it and get a little creative and work till the last second. And Mikey literally got it like a moment before the live started. And I was like, here, go, throw it up there. <laughs> so that's for when we don't have any kind of uh, thumbnail, he has something to fall back on. So I'll mix up about eight ounces. It's probably too much, but that's okay. I always have projects around that I'm ready to go with. Oop. So, hey lady. So three board checks, we got to uh, chat in the two of us together and she's working on a really cool project. Um, I hope you're okay with me talking about this. <laughs> she's doing a wedding event and the welcome signs, they're doing some Claire marble technique and some epoxy uh, boards and stuff. So we got to chatting and um, brainstorming on some possibilities there. So that sounds really cool. So the reason I was doing this on the board is because I've done this on cups before where you just put that thin, thin coat of uh, resin and glitter, and then you do the parchment paper around it again to lay it down real thin, um, real nice and flat. And then I will put a stencil down and then I do alcohol inks on top of it. And it's really cool because the glitter shows through the alcohol inks and it's really pretty. I'm like, I wonder if that will work on a flat surface. Probably will. But we gotta try it. All right, mixing resin is always really exciting, isn't it? <laughs> so Mikey is behind the scenes. He's been working really hard on the lives and getting things set up on OBS and even like you saw the intro screen. He's messing around with that today. Did you guys watch the live at Rondo's yesterday? It's got me thinking about doing some more cups. Oh, and Erica, um, Leslie has some glitters that are interesting. I think they're UV reactive glitters. 
So like inside it's one color, but outside it's another color. I couldn't help myself. I got some of those coming. How are we doing? All right, Erica, you've been timing me. <laughs> You're probably working at the same time, right? I know you are. I don't have a puppy dog barking in the background. I got a kitty cat, but she's, she's not here right now. So our kitty cat Smog is doing a funny thing. Um, we have, we used to have like an abundance of Nerf guns around the house and you know, Nerf bullets, you know, there's little cylinder bits, but they also have the little round balls that are about yay big, right? About an inch maybe in size. And they look like little miniature uh, basketballs. Well, apparently she's got to uh, playing with those and she'll carry them around with her in her mouth and it's adorable, but she will have so much fun. She will practically fetch them. So of course, early in the morning, when you're trying to get those little extra wings in, she starts her little meow, 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 and has the little basketball in her mouth. Okay, so I'm mixing this approximately three minutes until it's nice and clear and scraping my sides and scraping the bottom. So I'm gonna make sure I cover that really well. Silver gold interference and that. Yeah, that'll work. So I'm not doing a ton of color. I'm actually going to be doing light on color today. Or at least I keep trying to do that. When I want things to peek through, I always get too heavy on the color, so. Try and be good with the cups. Why did I do that? I don't know why I did that. Hey Erica, can you put in the um, the version of Color Passion that is close to bright gold in the chat? Because I know you're have a hard time carrying the bright gold. So I'm using the Just Resin Bright Gold and I'm also using aluminum too. But I believe she's got aluminum. Meaning put a link in there for your, your website. I know she'll also, she'll also fetch my um, my hair ditties. I think three quarters of my hair ditties, me and the hair ties, are all around the house, under the couch, and not in my organizer. Slash cup. Color Passion Old Gold. Okay, cool. I gotta remember that. All right, I am not far from being able to pour and stuff. Okay, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna mix a little bit of Grumpy. This is one of her chameleon colors, and I believe it's a blue-purple shift. And I'm doing Grumpy because it's a really fine powder. And this one's gonna make a mess. And then this one is Mardi Gras, and as you can tell, my on the overhead, okay. It's a bigger flake. Oh, 
go, go for it. And I think I've already bought a pound of Grumpy in my lifetime so far, which is hard to do when she sells them by the gram. We're gonna make the chameleon the star. Might as well make it a star. Really add some in there. This is gonna be really pretty. That's gonna be nice. Okay, and then I'm gonna add some interference blue. Cause I'm playing with the blue. This is all about the blues here today. Right? I, I'm a pincher when it comes to baking. But usually it's like, you know, the, the, the fancy part, or not the favorite fancy part, I should say the flavor part of the ingredients. When it comes to the ingredients that make it do its thing as far as rising and all that, I am like real careful. Yeah. <laughs> Flour, gotta get the exact amount. Eggs, gotta get perfect. You'll bag them in whatever quantity I want. You're funny. Okay. I think this was over at Rhonda's for about nine months just because I left it. And then of course it gets moved around with all the class projects. And then when Leslie gave it to me, it's like, here, take it home. We're trying to get rid of everybody else's stuff. <laughs> I was like, I was wondering where that went. So I may have to sand this down uh, because I'll probably have some little bits of glitter that will pop up. And so that way the flood coat will have a nice smooth texture to it. So keep that in mind if you're ever doing anything with a lot of glitter to it, that usually the first round of resin after your glitter will still have pokies, but you can sand them down and get it all nice and smooth. And then your final flood coat will bring out that sparkle dramatically. Did that okay I was trying to figure out how much to put down I get, get the size just a little bit I already got a thin layer on there just to try to help with the pokies because they're really poking bad in all different directions so I thought I'd do just get started on those layers and this will help out a lot because resin does thin out when it goes down the sides. So these are just a little um, Lazy Susans that you can get from uh, Ikea. What are they like, 10, 15 bucks or something like that? I think they're really inexpensive. Okay, I think we are good. Um, Grumpy is the one that is uh, purple and blue shifting. Okay. So I'm going to pinch this out so I can get a nice little line. Going on. Just start to play with it. This is about adding some little, you know what, I'm going to do that last.
in one area here that has a lot of it because that stuff is gorgeous. And yes, I'm using every little drop of chameleon I can in this. It's like, you know, I was talking about the baking and all that. It's like when you finally get the nice um, spices or ingredients, you know, that you splurge for. You want to make sure you use every little bit that you can. All right. So I'm just moving around with my finger just to get rid of the... Um, the human line, so I call it. Not trying to marble it out too much, just trying to make it flow a little bit. This interference is really pretty. And it acts like a chameleon too, but it only shifts one color. I didn't share with you my little trick for um, fast cleanup. I did a pro tip um, shorts on it, but I haven't published it yet. Um, so I've got these little silicone mats, and I, I always have a hard time pronouncing the the company Lowly Fe. And but they're all over my table, and if I know I'm going to have another project a little bit later on, and I want to do a quick cleanup. I'll just lay down a couple uh, rows of paper towels, just one, one layer thick, and let the uh, epoxy cure up. And then the next morning, just peel it up, no problem. Let's see, do these right next to. So I'm doing both silver and gold, which you don't see very often, but since this is kind of a glitter piece, it's kind of fun. Okay, that went out a lot. Let's try that again. A lost party. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing I did before. I'll just run my fingers along it. It's 437, thank you. I can get carried away real quick. Ooh, I like that. Okay, we're good. What do you guys think? I think I shall, I shall stop y'all, is what I'm thinking. All right, where's my torch? Ha ha, torch. So you can see a little bit of the texture, like the uh, the lines here are kind of a little jaggedy and that's because of the um, the glitter texture So if you want it to be a really nice smooth line do it after you've already done your um, Nice flood coat where it gets it really nice and smooth. I wasn't worried about the, that too much because I had a lot of blended color so Yeah, I'm happy with that And that interference is gonna be really pretty in the daylight All right, let's see. And I've got a couple molds I did. You want me to open up some molds? This was from the leftover resin from yesterday. And I just combined all the colors and you're gonna, okay. Can you zoom me in? Okay, cool. You got it? Oh, <laughs> I'm looking at my iPad. Okay. So I already have a, a color there right now, but that's the back side of it. Now let's get to an area. And all I did was poured all those colors I did together into a cup and create a dirty pour out of it. But that's the, uh, the other side. 
So let's get this one. I did the same thing whether I had some leftover glitter resin and then it's got that at the bottom. Gotta have some fun, right? All right, I am good on my time. Look at that, it's 440. Woohoo! We're getting some runs there or some lines there. I bet it's catching on some of the glitter. Cool. I'm happy with it still. Okay. Want me to take a home for a walk Yeah, 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 yeah. Thanks. So you, can, you might have to shift a little bit from side to side to see if you can catch some of those chameleons. Long hair coming out from the bottom. Oop. Oh dear. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I understand that he doesn't want you know resin on his projects and stuff like that, so you gotta be careful with that. It's turned out cool. Oh, you got one of the hearts? Oh, you got one of my hearts. Hey, Tish. Now, I know, Tish, I know you have one of those hearts on your desk. And it makes me smile. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm going to call it and keep myself on the time clock here. So check out the other ladies. And I will see you around on probably Erica's Live and Artapalooza. So check out my website, clairelawrence.com, and I'll see you next Tuesday, 4.30.